Here we are at the finale. Or should I say, finally, huh? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't write this stuff. If you recall, the long journey to the Vault of the Traveler actually began by accident. Atlas's gorgeous robot was designed to not only summon the Vault of the Traveler, it was also meant to deal with the complications of entering the Vault. Two unlikely Vault Hunters began to assemble it, but one component remained out of reach on a Hyperion space station. Pressed into service by the local crime lord, they concocted a plan to sneak aboard. The sisters were enraged when the corporate lackey revealed his secret, but there was no backing out now. An old rival provided a priceless disguise, <laughs> while new allies helped cobble together a rummage sale lady, rocket you ship. Have yourself a rocket. Once again, tempting fate, they flung themselves into space. Indeed, they would have died up there, were it not for the sacrifice of a noble soul. Finally, aboard the space station, the salaryman found himself contending with his ambitious former accomplice. But time was short, and he was very busy, so he referred her to his assistant. Working together, the gun artist and the salaryman managed one last miracle and acquired the final Gortis component. But just then, Handsome Jack offered the salaryman everything he had ever wanted. How could he possibly refuse? Put them in one of the cells for questioning. They caught me at one of the security checkpoints. We're here for desecrating art! Uh, what? We all know about the plan. We intercepted your comms. So? Oh, cool! So we don't have to explain it! Where's Reese? A lot of strange things have been happening today. Oh, hey, you know, you've got something on your face! What was on her face? Did you get it? I believe I did. Get them into the cell. Hey, President Asshole, what's taking so long? Reese! What is going on up there? Let's get dirty! I can't believe it. What? That you're finally in charge? Don't be surprised, kid. I mean, not to sound like a frickin' shampoo commercial here, but you deserve it because you killed a lot of people to get here. But listen, I know where you're coming from. A little imposter syndrome's normal when you've basically just become a god. Limitless power, sweet office... So, what's the catch? The catch was that you had to kill like a hundred people to get here, and you did that, kid, because you are a badass. Look, let me tell you, you're done with catches now, alright? There are no more catches for you for the rest of your life, ever. When you want something to happen, it's just gonna happen. That's what power feels like. You know, we had our rough patches, you and me. But when the chips were down, you did the right thing. I respect that, Reese. But enough talking, am I right? It's time for you to make your first command as president, Reese. Now you gotta project power. You gotta project vision. But you also want to convince the toadies that you care about them. That's important. Yeah, uh, how exactly do I do that? Oh, that's such a good question. You are on the ball today, Reesey. Here, 
Given the current corporate landscape, there's three big changes you could make right here, right now. Which one's it gonna be? Let's blast a bandit camp. I love it. Great to know all your time down there hasn't turned you into a psycho lover, kid. You know what? i tell you what. Let's target... Prosperity Junction. Oh, wait, wait, what? Target locked. No, 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 no target locked. Prosperity Junction is not a bandit camp. Uh, close enough. Firing! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, chill out, it's fine. Wasn't a big mortar. Worst case, maybe we killed half a dozen dudes. Hey, wait, wait, who, who cares? It's small time stuff. You, you really gotta see this next project I've got prepped. <laughs> it's awesome. So, this is a sick-ass endoskeleton Nakayama made. Oh, that thing has a body? I, I didn't thought it was just for holding coffee mugs or something. See, they were gonna put it inside my original body and then upload my consciousness into it, so I'd be wearing my old body like a skin suit. It's great, right? <laughs> cool. You're damn right it's cool. All right, now the one problem was how to get the endoskeleton into my body without killing me first. But since I'm dead anyway, I had a way cooler idea. Are you ready for this? This is awesome. We make a shitload of these endoskeletons, we put them into the corpses of the bandits we killed, and then we upload my AI into all of them. You want to make an army of jacks? Freaking awesome, right? I mean, Hyperion troops die in battle, grab the corpse, shove an endoskeleton into it, boom, another jack. Some asshole gives you lip, boom, jackpot. Successfully wipe out a bandit camp, you turn the corpses into more jacks. Within a few months, Hyperion would have the smartest, best-looking fighting force in the universe. And the best part is, Reese, baby, you're gonna be the first recipient. Huh? And now I, I know metal skeleton forcing its way into your body. Uh, scary idea. You're an absolute psychopath. Yeah. I mean, I, I think some naive part of me wanted to believe you were just misunderstood, but no, no, you are the worst person I have ever met. And I met a guy who cut off another guy's face and wore it on his face! Uh, detecting a little ingratitude here, Reese. I did make you present. After we just mortared a bandit camp together, really? If I'm being honest, Backing out after you got to have your fun? Huh? Kind of a... kind of a dick move. I don't know what I ever saw in you. You're nuts. Oh, you used to worship me, kid. What the hell happened? You had it right the first time, but you know what? Knowing how you feel now, just makes it that much easier to kill you. I am taking the beacon and getting out of here. This was your chance to make history, you moron. To be part of a legacy. You know what, Jack? Suck it. Oh, hell no! Well, shit. We need to go. Yeah, not an option. We still don't have the beacon. Reese! He's not coming. You heard the announcement. Reese made his choice. Still, a promise is a promise. No, is You don't know what's going on. We said we'd meet him here, so that's what we're doing. Yeah. Sometimes things are complicated. Once Hyperion, always Hyperion. Warning lockdown protocol in effect. Whoa! -oh! Okay, now we really have to go. Come on, hang our base this way. 
you know what you'd be right now without me? <laughs> Nothing! Nobody turns their back on me unless they want me to sink an axe into it, you ungrateful shit! Oh, I am not gonna forget this. Fiona, Sasha, Bond, and once they're dead, I'm going to make them my flesh bots. And you're gonna watch as your best friends tear you limb from freaking limb! Oh, my body. It hurts inside my body. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing the president thing didn't go over so well. That's that's fine. Yeah, that's just fine. Ow. Reese, we got a problem. Oh, cool, dude. Add it to the list. The hangar bay door is just locked tighter than a bully monk's jaw. The caravan ain't going nowhere. Awesome. That's awesome. Okay, uh, I'll override it at the power core. Just give me a minute to get my ribs. Ooh, okay. <sighs> okay. I can do this. Reese. I'm so sorry. That? Oh, hello, Yvette. Listen, Reese, I gave Hyperion your coordinates because they gave me a guarantee. Guarantee? Oh, that we would have a painful death? Is that the guarantee? That you'd be safe. They wanted to kill you and rip some top-secret file out of your head. I made sure they spared you. Please, Reese. I'm as good as dead if you leave me. You know what? You made your choice when you took Vasquez's deal. You're never gonna make it. Get used to that idea. Cool, cool. Well, I'll just put that in my back pocket. It was really fun catching up, Yvette. Have a great life being an awful person. Okay, bye. <laughs> Come on! This way! Hey, kiddos! Daddy's home! What's going on? Yes, dare to dream, it's me, Handsome Jack, your favorite. I'm back in the digital flesh, baby, and I need you to help me find my very good friend. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Hey, everybody. Remember that guy, Reese, the new president, the less handsome guy? Well, he's just done so Is that gentle, Jim? That, Gordis, is Handsome Jack. Oh, what did I say? I just can't find him. But I, I just can't find the guy. So, if you see him, why don't you do Uncle Jack a favor and bring him to me, huh? No rush. No, actually... We need to get to the hangar bay. Now. I just can't wait to see the guy, you know? I just love him so much. Hey, you idiot. You look like the kind of moron that hangs out with middle management. Do you know where he sends? I, uh, is he the one with the glasses? Oh, it's... Uh, yes, <laughs> Time to go. Yeah, you know, even though it's full of flesh-eating monsters, Pandora suddenly feels a lot safer than here. Someday, I want to live on a nice planet. Good luck with that. Hello, ladies. Great. So, how are things? Still alive, I see. Well done. Uh, just a quick quest for you both. Where the hell is Reese? I got every single Helios employee looking for that ass clown. So save him some major calf strain and turn him in already. Last I heard, he was in your old office. Uh, trust me, Cupcake, he ain't in there. Otherwise, I'd be inside him. Let's go, Fiona. He can't touch us. Oh, you are just 100% right about that, Pumpkin. I can't, but my guards and their bullets sure can, and a shit ton of them are heading to you right now. Could get messy. So in the essence of saving on cleanup costs, why don't we just figure this out together, huh? I mean, I'll be straight with you. Reese is definitely gonna die. But you don't have to. I mean, I don't care enough about you to kill you. No way in hell I'm trusting the douchebag who tried to destroy my planet. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? Douchebag? <laughs> Such a hateful word. 
That's why I used it, douchebag. Oh, here are my guards. Now remember, you had a chance to avoid this next part. You think on that while you're headbutting bullets. a lot of monitors in this place. Reverse the lockdown and get the hell out of here. <laughs> no problem. Morning. Packing detected. Oh, come on. Morning. Okay. Okay. Want to dance? Doors are now open. <laughs> you shouldn't act in a Helios and tickled my alarms, pal. Led me right to you. And I hate being tickled. That's no, not true. I love it. Screw you, Jack. Ever since you snuck into my head, my life has been a disaster. Uh, this hasn't exactly been a walk in the frickin' park for me either, Cupcake. All right, Jack, you want to shut me out of the computer systems? Fine. Then I'll go right to the source. Let's see how long you survive without a power core. I am glad you're out of my brain so I can finally kill you. Back off, Reese. Don't you even try to shut me down. Uh, you know what? Your puny little body isn't worth all this trouble. Seriously. Core venting process initiated. It's gonna be way more fun watching you get vented into space. Oh shit, that's bad. That's really, 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 really bad. Warning. Airlocks in the crisscross gym for fatties. Failing. All exercise equipment and overly aggressive trainers vented into space. Oh no. Kill me with that lightning rod? I'm made of electricity, you idiot. <laughs> you didn't actually think it would be that easy, did you, idiot? Power core damage reaching critical. Enjoy your last few seconds of not being dead. Stand by for core ventilation in three, two, one. <laughs> I may not exist in this current form, baby, but I'm a legend, kid. And unlike you, when you're gone, it's for good. Yeah, I know. Emmy, right? You twirl on that one for a bit. Without me, you're nothing. Just a sad, silent vacuum of space waiting to be filled with a handsome and Warning. Ventilation aborted. Jack! Eat it all! Retro rockets activated. Fiona? Helios thrusters offline. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? Where are you going? You can't leave me here! Impact with Pandora imminent. Please begin evacuation procedures. Oh, you little asshole! Look what you have done! Right. 
These idiots. Hey, August, we got problems. Hang the door shut a few minutes ago. The whole base is on lockdown. Well, find a way to get them open. Of course. Just think about it harder. That never even occurred to me. Yeah, but what about the beacon? Relax, okay? I've got it. When I ask you a question, you better have an answer. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. Come on, Gordis, you should wait in the van. It's dangerous out here. Oh, uh, okay. I think she's fine with us. Gotta keep this girl safe. Thanks, I guess. Hey! No, stay away! Hey, big man. This pistol may not have the stopping power for you, but unless you want to see your friend's brains all over the wall, <laughs> I'd ease up. I knew this was gonna happen. Only a matter of time before you'd show your true colors. What can we say? Valerie's got a different plan. Fire up the engines, August. Got a jet once those doors open. We'll take care of this. Yeah. Right. I don't... even know what to say to you. Don't look at me like that. August, you can stop this. You're the boss here. Nah, Valerie's the boss, and August does what Valerie says. It's real simple. Come on! Away from the ship! Wait. What is this? Look, dude. Don't do this, man. This was always the plan. You knew that. Plans change. Motorbot, we need to get to Pandora. Warning. Helios planetary orbit compromised. Please calmly make your way to the nearest emergency pod and await hey, further. Asshole! So that guy Reese, I wanted to ask him to get you out here. Well, he just sent this tin can on a crash course to Pandora. This is what happens when you don't follow directions. So Lock up the These, um, containment suits should protect us, right? Radiation? Yeah. Burning up in the atmosphere and crashing into Pandora? No. Wait your turn, Rick. I am Gordis. Keep her safe. I will. Are you there? Yes. Oh, awesome. Okay, buddy, I'm in a tight spot. Where is your location? Oh, just hanging out in the power core. And I, uh, kinda need to be rescued. Again? I will be right there. <laughs> yes. Loader bot. You are very needy. We have to stop meeting like this. 
We gotta go. This thing's going down. I am aware of this. Impact imminent. To the escape pods. Let's go. Most of the escape pods have been deployed. Well, that's a death trap. Shit. Come on. Come on. There's gotta be something. What the hell you think you're doing exactly, Reese? Because, spoiler alert, they're all gone! <laughs> what do you think? We installed enough bots for the whole base? <laughs> you have any idea how expensive that would be? God, you're an idiot. No getting out of this one! You. Oh, yeah, that's real cute. Yeah, that's a real great use of whatever time you got left. Oh, I'll be so happy when you're gone. I Me? Mean, gone? <laughs> I'll never be gone. I'm a freaking legend, kiddo, in case you haven't been paying attention. I'm immortal. <laughs> There's one! <laughs> How's that feel, huh? No, 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 that's not happening. Nope! Sorry! <laughs> oh, it is not gonna be that easy. No way. We're in this together, we see. If you think I'm gonna let you leave me, <laughs> guess again. Oh, that, that's funny. Look at him go. Oh, he's so happy. No, 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 no. Stop. We can both fit. Look, I'm very slender. <laughs> nah, 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 don't listen to him. Those things are designed for one. Sorry, bro. Hey, hey, stop. Oh, oh, oh man, come on, dude. Hey, another idiot's joined the party. Hey, you're gonna die, dude. If you're all gonna die, you idiot! Our of our survival. He is right. Probability of death is high. This is here to pop! Well, guess it's just you and me, pal. Wouldn't have it any other way. We have to go. Whoa! Hey! Get, Get back, back here! here. Ain't getting away this time. Yeah, what he said. What? No, that thing's busted. I'll die in that. No, you will live. Wait, wait, wait. Lo Loaderbot, no. Come on. Loaderbot, no. No. No.
Insurance is gonna cover this one. Oh, Reese, you absolute dick. Look what you done. Mm -hmm. I built this place. My own two hands. You should just die. Again. But for good this time. Just a matter of time, kid. And I'm proud of you, kid. You didn't stop at anything to kill me. This is the part where you give me the we're not so different, you and I speech again. Oh, God, hell no. You're way better at killing people than I am. How many people do you think were on Helios, huh? How many of your co-workers did you just eject into space to get rid of me, huh? I guess I'll have to live with that. I'll spare you the amount of times I've told myself exactly the same thing. Everyone thinks they're the hero of their own story. And I should have seen this coming. 
Ever since I came to this nacho flavored shit all over the planet, I've been betrayed by everybody I gave a rat's ass about. My boss, my girlfriend, hell, my goddamn daughter. Maybe I deserved it. <clears throat> well, your daughter betrayed you? Well, she didn't have a choice. She killed her mom. She couldn't control her powers. Kept her head for years. Second one, we found out about her. Bolted. One day, a bunch of vault hunters helped her betray me. She killed herself. Just found out. Found out. Again. It was on the Gilead's database. Could have done without that part. Take a good look around here, Reese. This is what success looks like. Maybe we'll see. After a while, you start to measure it by the size of the pile of destruction around you. You gotta break it down to build it back up. This was your first step in that. It's the only way. You'll see. And there's so much to break down before you can build again. <laughs> yeah, I see that now. Yeah, that doesn't mean I'm following in your... <laughs> no! You think you can take me out? You little shit! You ready to do this, Reese? Are you ready to do this? You... Kill me. You kill yourself. Yeah. And that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. This, this is what commitment looks like. You this is leadership. This is being a goddamn hero. Everything you're not. Congratulations, kiddo. You get to live another day. But what about tomorrow? Or the next day? Because I'm not going anywhere. As long as you've got those cybernetics in you. <laughs> I'll be sitting here waiting for my chance to take you out. We're past playing games, Reese. Oh, all I need is time. One day, when you've forgotten all about me, I'll take over your body and skin you alive with your own two hands. Perhaps while you're sleeping. Getting late. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What the... Reese, what the hell are you... No, no, please, please, please don't do this. No, Reese, you, you don't know what it's like. Please. He's here! Please don't tell me back there! It's not like they say. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing there. Don't do this. Goodbye, Jack. It's over. Uh, 
stopping you? Summoning the vault brought this monster with it! It's bigger than any I've ever seen! Whatever needs settling between us isn't gonna matter if we're all dead! We have to destroy Gordis! It's what's keeping the Vault Guardian here! It's too powerful to take out any other way! No! You can't do that! It'll kill Gordis! We've got no choice! It's that, or we all die! Just stay out of my way! No! Uh! Just like that, Gordas was gone. Valerie was gone. The vault, the monster that protected it, they were all gone. All we were left with was each other. And the memories of those we lost along the way. All for nothing. was that. Eventually, we made our way back to Hollow Point, got August patched up. There isn't much more to it. Life sorta of returned back to normal. Well, our normal. That was it. You destroyed Gordas, then walked away. Moved on with your life, like nothing happened. You weren't there. It had to be done. The Vault Monster would have taken us all out. And what about you? After I came to, I grabbed the rights to Atlas on Pandora from Jack's office. Figured I could use it to build something. A fresh start. At that point, it made sense to head back to the Atlas facility we left. Got it going again. Luckily, it was well stocked. Whole lot of fruit. Fixed myself up. Worked on some prototypes. Obviously, that was all after she ditched me on Helios. You chose your side. There was an announcement and everything. That was... a um, huge mistake. Turns out, yeah. But when it all came down to it and you were faced with a choice, 
It was clear what was important to you. Meeting you. That vault key deal. It was a disaster we didn't need in our lives. Are you serious? That is what you're pissed about? It was a little more complicated than that. What isn't complicated is the fact that you were making googly eyes at my sister the entire time you were around. Well, I came out with a few scars, too. Go on, punk! Quit stalling! Man, put some hustle in it! I ain't got all day! I recognize that voice. Kroger? Really? What is this shit? A debt needs to be repaid. What is that supposed to mean? Damn there, fool! Yo, man. You didn't tell me this dude be holed up in a bandit camp. The whole damn place was coming after me. You seem fine. I mean, I lost them, but I wouldn't stick around here too long. <laughs> Just a matter of time before they come through. I'll take my chances. Psh, whatever. Oh, look here. We got Fiona and her corporate chump. The name's Reese, thanks. Look at you, all wrapped up like birthday presents. Who sent you? Last I remember, you couldn't wipe your ass without someone's permission. Man, you just don't stop, do you? I'm here for my own business, thank you very much. <laughs> Look, I brought you your bandit, boss. We gonna make the trade or what? Two for one. Can't beat that. <laughs> no, nah, they ain't making it out of here. This is personal. Hey, no, no, stop! This is the end of the line, girl. You, you, you can't let him do this! So, you got some last words? <gasps> Just to get them out now. Because you know what they say payback is. Come on, at least make it a fair fight. Mm -mm. I like my odds better this way. This one's for Finch! Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Gross. Whoa. Whoa! Oh. Stop saying that! Don't even think about running. The hell is he doing? This... This is weird. I don't know. Maybe he's... stretching. <laughs> oh, great! A firing squad! I just hit murder bingo!
Hey, you, you don't have to do this. All right! Laser pointers off! Laser pointers? The children of Helios try to avoid guns when it comes to conflict resolution. What? <laughs> I thought I lost you, buddy! <laughs> Same here, man. I can't believe this! Come on! It's great to see you too, Fiona. We got a lot to catch up on, but it's not entirely safe out here. We'll take you back to the base. Base? Oh yeah. You're not gonna believe what we've done to the place. thing was nuts! So, I ended up taking your advice, bit the mustachey guy when he wasn't looking, and I made a break for it. Weird to think he's dead now. Uh, they're both dead, actually. Right. Right. I hung around, tracked you guys as best I could. I was working on a plan to spring you, but then you left on the rocket, and uh, Valerie opened the vault, and just all oh, hell broke loose. I tried to find you guys, but eventually I started suspecting the worst. I didn't want to think that way, but... but... after a while, it's just hard not to lose hope. I... I thought you were dead too. I, I really did. I got close a few times, but... just lucky, I guess. We all are. Sort of. The whole thing was so surreal, you know? I mean, Helios crashing... But by the time the dust settled, everyone was gone. Except for the ones that made it to the escape pods. Never expect to be leading a bunch of Hyperion refugees. I mean, they were crawling out of those things like newborns. Just bleary-eyed and scared. Look, don't take this the wrong way, but they elected you, leader? Hey, look man, I was just as surprised as you. They, they wouldn't even let me into the squash games back on Helios. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry about that. It's just that they only have so many courts and... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Ancient history, it's fine, okay? Here, on Pandora, I was the only guy that even kinda knew their way around. I mean, most of these people, they hadn't spent a waking hour doing anything but just sitting on their ass, getting sweatier and fatter. <sighs> Which is why we decided to make our base out of what was left of Helios. Cool, right? Whoa. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty deferential. Which is really odd for a bunch of ex-Hyperion. Hello! Wow. They must really revere you. <laughs> oh, that's not for me. They're bowing to you. But me? But this isn't for you? Oh, <laughs> you're kidding me. I wish I was. Look, they even have a shrine for him. Um, <laughs> that, that, that's a statue of Jack. Yes, very observant it was, at one point. But, uh, they went ahead and labeled it Reese. Someone tried to alter the face to look like you, but, um... Most of these guys are basically shitty at everything. Finally, some respect. Oh, shut up. What? I get no respect. Reese, you don't understand. To them, you are the great liberator. You see, you crashing Helios shed them of their corporate shackles. All right, then. Let's take advantage of my fame.
<laughs> wow. <laughs> My forehead isn't really that big. <laughs> Is it? I told you, they're sucky. Kill it with fire. <laughs> hey! Oh, what? Did you forget we have a prisoner to interrogate? No. You're not even a little curious to hear what this guy has to say? I mean, yeah, but there's fruit. I'm talking to him. Okay, okay, okay. I'm coming. I'm doing the talking. Okay, I'll be the backup muscle. Why, I got a gun. Okay, cool. Then Fiona, you're a bad cop, and I'll be good cop. Shut your face. Ooh, already in character. Nice. We got answers, and we want some questions. So you listen, buddy. You make sure to answer... All right, spit it out! Who are you? A truth seeker. Enough of the haiku bullshit. You give us straight answers when we ask you a question. You're supposed to be a good cop. Are you sure? Or else one of us, just slightly unclear which one... I saw people wearing those suits on the base. That means you were on Helios. Or at least around the crash site. Look, you obviously know us. You wouldn't be doing this if you didn't. So just... no more games. I do know you. Better now than I ever have. I was there. I was there when Gordas was destroyed. I saw the betrayal. I saw it, but I could not believe it. Hi, uh, I have a lot of questions. Gordas... Gordas was my friend, too. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to believe that, too. How is this even possible? I mean, how are you even standing here right now? I went back to Helios. I needed to survive. To find you. To learn the truth. <sighs> but why the disguise? I mean, why the secrecy? Huh? Why, why not just tell us? I was afraid if you knew who I was, you would lie about what happened. It is in your nature to lie. I really am sorry about Gordas. I didn't have a choice. I know that now. I am sorry for not trying.
trusting you. Please forgive me. Oh, come on. How can you be mad at that face? <laughs> that is a face, right? Of course, Loaderbot. I am filled with joy. Okay, so obviously I'm excited to see Loaderbot too, but that doesn't explain why you got us all together. I mean, I assume that's why you had me captured by that Kroger guy? Yes. Follow me. I brought you together to help me assemble Gordas and summon the Vault of the Traveler. Whoa. Yeah. Heavy. Have you forgotten about the Vault Monster that nearly killed us? This time, it will be different. How? We will all be there to fight it. With some friends. We were unprepared. Weak. That won't be the case this time. That's not much of a plan. Not that I'm saying no. Why are we still talking about it? I'm in. Let's do it. For Gordas. And as a bonus, the treasure in that vault. Well, the endless riches is what usually motivates people. Whatever help the children of Helios can provide is at your service. Thank you. I don't have an army of former Hyperion weirdos. But I owe you my life. Killing the Vault Monster is the only way to ensure that Gortus can live in peace. The only way to save her. So, you, me, LB, Vaughn's on board. Hell yeah he is. I can get Sasha here. Oh, uh, so she's, uh... How many more we need? Vault Hunter teams are most effective in groups of four. Two teams would optimize our chances of success. Okay, so we need three more members. Loaderbot, any suggestions? It's all you. Okay, no pressure. Just give me a second to think. Who's stopping you? I'm a visual thinker. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I, I know the words that you just said, but not together like that. She achieves clarity through visualization. Oh, oh, okay, well, you know, why didn't you just say that? I suppose there's always August.
you for coming. Sure. I'm mostly here for the loot. Weddings are expensive. So I've heard. I told you we can keep it modest. The napkin holders you picked up are more than modest. Well, those I have to have. This is all really exciting. I don't usually get invited to missions like this. You'll see. They can be a grind sometimes. Well, I'm still excited. I, uh... Sorry about your mom. She was aggressively unique. A unique woman. One of a kind. Thought you said Sasha'd be here. Uh, relax, she will be. We'll catch her up when she gets here. All right, so, in order to access the mysterious treasures of the vault... Ahem. ...and assure the safety of Gordas, we gotta destroy the monster that protects us. This is the Traveler. That's the biggest vault monster I've ever come across. Oh yeah, it's big. It's nasty. It's gotta go. Any plan that kills that ugly bastard is fine by me. Well, you're in luck then. To make matters more fun and complicated, it teleports. Yay! Hence the whole traveler thing. That thing looks heavily armored. How do we deal with that? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's actually impossible to penetrate. That's why you and Sasha have to get inside. When the Traveler teleports, there's a swirl of energy at the point where it's going to jump to. You just have to time it so that when you get the caravan... The caravan? Yeah, that's what I said. It flies now, remember? You just got to time it so that you're inside the energy thing when the monster shows up. What little information we were able to gather seems to point to a gland tucked in its giant tummy there, as the source for its teleportation abilities. Once you're in, you wire up the gland, weird to keep calling it that, with explosives. Trigger the remote detonator and get the heck out of there. So what's everyone else's role? Good question. The B team, that's you guys, you're saddled with the unenviable task of drawing the monster over to this area. You get the monster toward the vicinity of this ledge, it tries to jump into range. The caravan flies into the energy swirly thing before it jumps. So, <laughs> where do I fit into all of this? You, sir, are our motivational speaker. After the teleportation is offline, we need Gordas to wrestle the Traveler into place for the Moonbeam. And that's going to require some convincing. And that's what you and Loderbot are in charge of. Well, I guess... I guess this is what we're doing. Well, sounds good to me. At least, what I heard of it. I... I thought you were dead. <laughs> Get over here! Oh, oh, come on. You know, I would... You, uh... Just <laughs> so happy to see you. Keep fun, ah, safe. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I saw that. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, hey. It's, um... It's good to see you, Brees. Like the new hair. Whole look. It works. Oh, thanks. Oh, but to be clear, is that a compliment from Rhys or Jack? Right. Well, to be fair, Jack would have phrased it differently. I suppose you're right. All right, all right, enough of whatever the hell that was. We've got a vault monster to kill. Charged. We're ready here when you are. She is ready. The only missing pieces are you two. What now? We bring my friend back. I could not revive her myself. I require your help. 
you two are still imprinted on her core. It must be made whole again. That's all it takes this time? I've made some modifications. You will want to stand back. This may not be pleasant. Um... It is not working. Uh... Did I put it in backwards? Uh, backwards? I don't know, like, you know, batteries, I... Positions. We don't got a lot of time. Traveler into position so Fiona and Sasha can get inside it and destroy its teleportation gland. Then Vaughn will use Helios's beam to destroy it. Got it? No. Nope. Oh, really? Which part? The part where we don't all get our butts kicked like last time. I thought I was ready back then, but I didn't stand a chance. Well, yeah, but uh, that 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 that's the plan. I can't believe we're doing this. Do we got this? We got this, right? Because I'm kind of driving us toward a really big thing that wants us dead. Hell, I feel sorry for the monster. All right, let's do this. Fiona, get to the top of the cliff. After we get the traveler into position, you'll only have a few seconds to jump into it while it teleports. Just handle your part. We got this. Checked it out last night. She's solid for one last ride. The only good thing Felix ever gave us. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with my gun. You still got that gift Felix gave me? Of course I... Ugh. Whoa! That wasn't the plan. No. Uh-uh. Okay, so, I'm um, I screwed up. Please don't be mad at me. Ugh, Vaughn. Uh, I totally jumped the gun there. Uh, yeah, my bad. But everyone makes mistakes, right? Vaughn! I know, I know, I just, I, I, I mean, I saw him walk right in front of the beam. I figured I could just end this all right now. Tell me we've got another shot. Yes, eventually. Wh what? You were supposed to wait until we took out the teleportation gland. Don't worry. I'll get the truck back up. We're fine. This is not a problem. Guys, 
I got a problem. Gordis doesn't want anything to do with this. Wh what? Awesome! Yellow Reese, I gotta go! She's scared, okay? I can't get her into position. Convince her! Look, Gordis, you can do this! Okay, it'll be different this time. We're all here together. Hey, Gordis! This isn't working! We need a new plan! If we fight, we'll lose! Oh, I wish you all had just given up on the vault. That's why I had Fiona destroy me. I didn't want to put you in danger. Gordis, we're gonna fight this thing together. All of us. But last time... Forget about last time. Your friends are all here, Gordis, and we can do this together. Well, if you say so. But you gotta drive. Drive? What are you... What are you... What are, no, 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 no! To do, Gordis. I'm giving you full control of my motor and combat functions. Just take us to the Traveler. Wait, combat? No, Gordis. I don't know how to fight. Where I come from, things don't get any more violent than imaginary finger gun fights. Like this? <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Hey, asshole! Gordis, can you get its attention? Hey, you! Big, freaky, glowy, big hand and handy thing monster! How was that? I mean, yeah, technically, you got his attention. <laughs> oh, we'll give him something to laugh about. He's already laughing! Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, now we. You know what, just. shoot! Teleport and he's there. You good? We're ready. Go! Go, go! Was that? He knows if he destroys me, he disappears. Did we? Did we make it? Also, are we floating? Yeah. It seems like that's... It didn't feel like we dropped a whole lot. It smells terrible in here. Huh. Guess there's no gravity in this thing when it teleports? I felt better! Zero gravity's not... Not really my thing. For a second, it reminded me of the ride to Helios. <sighs> well, let's not get too attached. We gotta blow that teleportation thingy up and get out. Grab the charges. We need to move fast. Who knows how long it's gonna take to find whatever makes this thing teleport. Oh, okay. That's probably it. There are aliens 
inside the massive alien. What the hell? I know, I know, but we gotta get up there. Yeah, but how? Mortis, come on, we gotta get up! Reese, I love you, but please stop saying obvious things! Firing! Oh no, my finger guns aren't working! So let's just use the backup weapons! This thing's got other moves, right? Um, no! The only reason I could even fire the finger guns is because I learned it from you! I'm designed to scan your brain patterns for anything that'd be useful in a fight! Did you adapt into my chest? Wait, uh, I know how to fist bump. Can we use that as an attack? Reese? Yeah, I... That did nothing. I know. It was a really good idea, but it didn't... Yeah, no, no, I get it, I get it. I just thought your fists would shoot out or something. Hey, what if we let someone else go by? Combat experience, maybe they could teach me some new attacks. While rescanning Cortis engaged the traveler, we will do additional damage from its flesh. So, okay, we are doing this now. This kind of thing happened to you a lot, honey? More than you'd think. All right, Gordas. Let's go. You're not gonna like this one.
got two big thumbs and just had his finger guns come back on him. This guy. It? I was expecting a fight. Stay alert. This isn't over. That could have gone better. Fiona, we can't kill this thing until you pop its teleporting gland. We can hold this thing off. As long as it takes! Just hang on! I'm almost there! I mean, I suppose there's a chance they're friendly. But it seems unlikely. I'm open to ideas. We go straight down the middle, guns blazing. It's the last thing they'd expect. That sounds insane. But that's exactly what I want to do. Let's do it. Shit! The gravity! No, 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 this is perfect! I can propel myself straight to the core. Got my back? Always. Run and gun, don't stop moving. You take the sides, I'll go up the middle. Almost there! 82%! Guys, I feel like I should mention that the chance of all of this going to plan is really, really slim! Hey, it's basically impossible that we made it this far. What are the chances that we die in the final stretch? Pretty good, but... I see what you're getting at. Once Sasha and Fee get out of that thing, we'll be fine. We're coming out! Oh, God! It's headed right for us! We gotta fire now! No, not until they've blown the charges. Fiona, what's your status? The charges are set! We're almost out of here! Oh no! Shit! We're out of range! We're out of range! We have to stop! We we can't! The boost is going! We can't shut it off mid-burn! Damn it! See, we're commencing our attack. Are you almost out? We need a new plan. What? The detonator's out of range. There's too much interference in this thing. We've gotta start over. Get closer to the core. <laughs> So turn around and get closer! I can't! We already launched! I'll have to wait for the boost to finish and then fly back and... Fiona... It's... What are you... It's okay. No! So 
Sasha, come in! Sasha! What's going on? Where, where, where's Sasha? What happened? Fiona! She's saving our asses, and so help me, I will never forgive her for it. The Moonbeam! It's ready to fire! <laughs> Sasha! Hit the button! Hit the button! Son of a bitch. Great job, guys. Man, we kicked the hell out of that thing, huh? Hey, yeah, we did! That was... really fun. Wasn't that fun? Eh, it's alright. Sure was a big old thing, wasn't it? The biggest. At least that I've seen. That you'll ever see. Hun, I get it. Good. Sasha. Sasha! 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 Hey! She's over here! No. No, 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 no. Hey, sis. Is, is this what you want? It's... the Desolator. So rare. Not really my style. Sasha, listen to me, you're gonna be okay. I, I knew what I was doing. Hey, stop, okay? Put down the gun, we've... We've gotta get you back to Helios. Oh, what? Why, well, you're the only one that gets a cool gun? The detonator, it, it was out of range. She, she had to go back. But she... she's going to be okay, right? I... I don't know. Sasha. It can't happen like this. Still can't believe Felix gave you that. <laughs> you know... Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> This can't be happening. Do you still have it? What Felix left me, I looked small. Maybe it's a scope or something. 
It's been driving me nuts not knowing. Yeah, you know how how hard it was to not look. I'm sure you peeked. I didn't look. I was trying to be respectful. Ah, well, that's no fun. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you doing? You know, there are all these stories where you know, someone's tears heal, heal people, and you just, I really feel like that's a thing. <sighs> yeah, well, this isn't one of those stories. <laughs> What is it? A watch. <laughs> what an asshole. <clears throat> it's okay. No, 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 no. You can't. You can't end like this. Hey. I'll see you soon. Not too soon. I'm not dead yet, guys. Deep breaths just make it hurt a little less. I'm sure it's just a, a matter of time before. What's happening? I don't know. I guess Felix isn't as big an asshole as I thought. <laughs> wow. I cried so much. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot. Uh, help me up. I'm... I'm... I'm fine. Mostly. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy now! What a roller coaster of emotions, huh? It was intense. Man, if it wasn't for the smell of rotting monster carcass, this hug would be perfect. Too bad that thing blew up. I could use one of those. Could you now? Could've used one of those. That's more like it. I knew you'd be alright. Sure you did. I hoped you'd be all right. Guys, the arm, this is excruciating. I'm so happy I can scream, but I won't, because when I do, people's ears start to bleed. Then thank you for not doing that. I don't really like most of you, but I, uh, 
I enjoyed that. It was fun. You know? Cathartic. Your ma would have been proud. Yeah, well, you didn't know her. Yeah, no, uh, no, I didn't. You're right. Uh, it's, it's just a thing you say, and I'm gonna shut up now. Hey. Thanks. For, uh, for shutting up. You'll do fine out there. That means a lot. You all are coming to the wedding, right? What happened to a little thing? Come on, had Fiona not told me how you felt, we might not be getting married. I guess that's true. Wouldn't miss it. So, does this mean we can collect the loot now? Uh, yeah, I suppose. Ah, ah, the test leader's mine! I died I got dibs on any shields, because I get shot a lot! I just want to say, thanks for bringing me back and killing that scary thing and taking me on the adventure we went on a while ago, and thanks for being cool about stuff, like letting me drive the caravan that time when you were looking, and thanks for bringing everyone together, and thanks for being my friend. You're the only ones I have, and I appreciate you. That's what friends do. They help each other. It's all part of the deal. Well, that's a pretty good deal. Just so you know, none of us would be here if it weren't for him. He's the one who brought us together to save you. Oh, I see. So, as much as we appreciate your thanks, he probably deserves it even more. together. <laughs> Look at him. So silly. They're running like that. Little rascals. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we did all right. Didn't we? Hey! It's just you and me now. <laughs> yeah, seems fitting. <laughs> like, meant to be. We are going in together, damn it. Like a family. Or no one goes in. Of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Unless I happen to be much faster than you, which clearly... I'm not. <laughs> we'll call. We'll call it a tie. No, no way. I won. You had a head start. Well, no turning back now. I guess we should just go ahead. And... Wait a second. W okay. Why? Why? What are we waiting for? What are your intentions with my sister? I don't get that stupid look on your face, okay? I know about that little flower moment you two had. I almost puked when Sasha told me. Oh, so cheesy. Relax. We're just friends. And honestly, sometimes I'm not even sure we're that. I seem to piss her off a lot, which is, you know, common reaction to me. I respect the hell out of her, but <laughs> there's nothing romantic there. Well... I think she fancies you. I can tell. So keep that in mind, because I really don't want to have to hurt you. Well, that's good to know. It'll help with my crippling fear of rejection. Awesome. Well, um, now that the horrifically uncomfortable conversation is out of the way, Maybe we actually go into the vault that we've risked life and limb to find. Ah, oh, okay. Wow. Whew. You think?
think they made this place big enough? <laughs> so this is it? Yeah, I, I guess so. All that work to find a vault. And here we are. I... I never dreamed I'd see the inside of one of these things. Walking through a weird, echoey room to open a glowy box. No, you've, uh... You've gotten pretty good at this whole vault hunting thing. I don't know. Could be a future in that. I mean, how many people can say they've actually found a vault? <laughs> Especially if you throw in all the people that die seconds after opening. <laughs> you're in, uh... You're in rare company. I'm still learning, but... I think I can grow into it eventually. I don't know. This life suits me. And honestly, I'm as surprised by that as anyone. It's been a good ride. Knock it off now, right? I am sure you will make a fortune as a vault hunter. Obviously, money isn't everything. Sure, sure it's important, but it doesn't have to drive your existence like it did mine. There's a healthy balance out there. Somewhere. What about you? Finally made it up the corporate ladder. Atlas is a pretty big name. At least it was. Seems fitting that you had to steal your way into running a corporation. Seeing as that seems to be the typical route. Well, to quote an old friend who... Wasn't really a friend. It was destiny. Considering I thought you'd be dead within the first few hours, there might be some truth to that. Yeah, there are plenty of ways out there to make money. It was, uh,. It's really good working with you, Fiona. You're a pro, really. And we couldn't have done any of this without you. We did make a good team, didn't we? Yes. Yes, we did. Would you like to do the honors? It's the last one. It's only right that we both open it. It's the best part. Kinda hoping you'd say that. <laughs>